The next story has to do uh, with Broadcom buying CA Technology. It's 18.9 billion. So it's interesting though because we saw the huge sell-off in semis, and I wonder if that was the trigger for this, or if this really is a strategic uh, need for Broadcom, or both. Well, China comes into this once again, and U.S. regulatory policy comes, comes policy yeah. comes into this again because, of course, Broadcom tried to by Qualcomm. It was knocked down by the U.S. government. That was a chip-to-chip -chip deal. And now you have Hock Tan, who is one of the most aggressive deal makers, really has reshaped the chip industry, now buying a software company. Couple things at play here. I mean, one is it's a very different business. It's right. an expansion. The second is much more likely to get regulatory approval because you don't have the antitrust concerns that you presumably had. Yes. Which one? Uh, oh, oh, the regulatory the lawyer problem, comes out. Well, the regulatory problem was not an antitrust problem. It wasn't an antitrust problem. It was yeah, a CFIUS problem. Point. problem. That's yeah. a very it was a security point. thing yes. done by the Treasury Department. Yes. And the President of the United States has been up on his high horse about right. China getting involved in our technology. So you may well be right. Yes. But boy, I'm not so well, sure. You don't have the CFIUS problem here with CA though. Oh, that's true. As an American company. So that that may be uh, that may be less of an issue. Huawei of course was the uh, yeah. so we'll see.